so over a year ago, Minwan was at my house, like he always is, and, and he asked me, what are your feelings on marriage? I had to tell them that while I was very flattered, I wasn't ready to settle down just yet. <laughs> and that I would rather continue to be friends. But thankfully to me, he was talking about Sam. <laughs> I couldn't be more excited that he took this step. But in all honesty, I knew this was going to happen. get to recreate what you have with your family with Menuan and you have the perfect example to emulate. I'm proud of you Sam. You worked through uni, you gathered the experience you needed to build your brand, launched your brand and now you're juggling that and the family business. You've always been nice to people regardless of what they had to offer you and that's the reason why you have so many good friends here today who love you. When I found out that I had the honor of saying a few words at one of my best friend's weddings, uh, I felt like I had won the lottery. Note, this was as accommodating as Menwan and Sam got, as my numerous attempts to get a projector to visually show the real Menwan were shot down, understandably. All the pics that Tikshana has on his phone will have to wait for his 50th birthday so we can show his many kids. That's if he hasn't uh, run away to a kutia to meditate and ditched us all. Obviously, I thought outside the box and found a solution to this. Also, let me say, Menuan, Thank you for marrying my sister, man. You're amazing. Right? Yeah. Like, you're amazing. I love you, man. You know this, and uh, it, 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 it's awesome. I used to joke around, I, when I first met you, I said I was a part-time engineer, full-time Jedi. But today I'm excited to say I want to be your full-time husband. And I'll stand next to you, I'll take care of you, I love you. And I'll stand next to you as you go on to do great things in your life. Love you. Thank you. Welcome everyone and I was actually given guidelines for this speech by Sam. So let me tell you what the guidelines are. Uh, welcome everyone, in brackets obviously. Uh, thank on behalf of both families for attending this special occasion. Thank you guys. Plenty of alcohol, food and love to go around so enjoy, so do that. Uh, talk about how much you love me and how awesome I am. Welcome Menuan into the family. Maybe tell a funny story. That's about it. Love you. Smile your face. I've known Menuan since the age of seven, which is 23 years, when this shy Royal College boy joined our class. We became instant friends and my earliest significant experience is me sitting next to him with our marked singular test papers in grade one being handed back to us. 
five seconds later, man one is tearing up, and I'm like, what happened, bro? How much did you get? I look down, and it says 98 <laughs> percent. He then points out that I've got 100, and as my singular is not my first language, he should have done better. This was the first inclination of Menwan's strive for excellence, which he had throughout his school life, going to Oxford, and now to helping to run KDAW with Uncle and Sinan. Sam, you look absolutely beautiful tonight. We know how much of an amazing person you are. The positive impact that you've had on my homie's life is immeasurable. He used to be late for everything by 45 minutes and now he's always 45 minutes early. I want to thank all our friends and family for being here today. I know um, a lot of you um, had to take time off work and to fly here across the world, some of you for just two days. Um, and basically the entire reason why we wanted to have this uh, function in August was to try and have as many of you here. And because without, without you, our special day would not really be that special. I'd like to thank this beautiful lady next to me, Samari. Um, leading up to the wedding, everyone kept asking me if I'm nervous. And yes, I've been nervous about the wedding ceremony, um, this speech, every, everything. But the one thing I haven't been nervous about is, is my decision to marry her. I know that's the best decision I will ever make. So many people have been to weddings and they talk, uh, oh, this is the coming together of two great families. No, these are coming together of two wonderful, happy, kind, down-to-earth families who just wants to laugh and have a good time. That's it. That's it. That's what it's all about.